Today we're here in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and we're here in front of the Cracker Barrel. We're gonna head on in. We're gonna see what, what it's about. We're gonna show you what's new, what's going on. Dawn, are you ready? Ready, let's do Let's it. do this. It is a beautiful day here in Pigeon Forge. The trees are popping, spring is in the air, no jackets, and it's only February. Out of all the days, it's it's February. And we're here in beautiful Pigeon Forge. Of course, got the, the Cracker Barrel, that logo. You'll see it all through the south here, up into Ohio. They even have them up in Michigan. I guess they have them everywhere. I don't know if they have them like out west. I don't know if they have them out west, but they're here on the east coast anyways. And it's located across the street from Captain Jim's Seafood Buffet. We're not gonna have any seafood today. <laughs> We're gonna have some good old country cooking. Cracker Barrel. And they started here in Tennessee. Oh, this is where they got their start. You ready for some Cracker Barrel? Yep. Yeah, some biscuits and gravy. Biscuits and gravy. And I, don't know, and I see you have a Loveless t -shirt on. Cafe t-shirt. And the food would be similar. It's in the same realm, right? Got country cooking. I love all the old signs they have out here. They have a Frosty root beer. They all, I also have Elsie. <laughs> yeah, very, very cool decor. So they're open from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Sunday through Thursday and 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Friday through Saturday and, and ladies first. So the first thing you're greeted with is a gift shop and they have so many things in here. Things you would never imagine to find in a, in a restaurant. Good Southern things at that. And some dresses and we got, yeah, that's a pretty cool, cool frame there. We got pretty much everything here. Sunglasses. A cactus car charger. You can charge three of them. They have a little bit of nautical theming going on here. And I got a little bit of everything. A little ship in a bottle. Even a crab holding a, a light bulb. And no crabby attitudes. And then you've got a lighthouse light here. Oh, wow, Donnie, see this? It's a dress. It's got like a little crabs on anything's got a matching matching hat oh yeah look at so they got a little bit of everything in here a little nautical theming got lighthouses and then they got some really cool stuff hanging from the ceiling just some country stuff they got that theming throughout and we got Tennessee in here you get your Tennessee souvenirs the University of Tennessee what do you got? Oh, you got a chicken. He's got some long legs. How much is he? It's not bad. It's not badly priced. Oh my goodness. Look at this. This is really cool. It's like a Hawaiian shirt. It's got sharks on it. And it's got a huge like jaws <laughs> coming out. That is cool. I like that actually. I don't know. I might have to look into that. And got some some fishing rods there. So they're definitely summery here. This is cool too, Dawn. Blue Hawaii. Oh yeah, that's yeah. flamingos. Oh, they even got some dresses for the for the ladies. And this here definitely looks like something Elvis would wear, right? Looks just like it. Like I said, they have everything in here. They have Star Wars, they have Mickey Mouse, they have Snoopy, um, they have uh, SpongeBob, Scooby-Doo. In fact, I like that shirt, the mystery machine. <laughs> but they do have a little bit of everything. They even have He-Man down here, Don.
there's those crazy chickens Don had earlier. Salt and pepper shakers. Got cows and chickens. Definitely got that farm farm going on. I think Dolly would be proud of this. You got butterflies. Really, really neat. I like those mushrooms over there too. 25% off. So they call that a butterfly lantern for $39. And they got Mr. Krabs sitting next to it with the Ocean Friends book. They got a lot of cute things for kids in here. A nautical anchor hat. They got some really pretty dresses. It's really long dresses. And some hats. They got Hershey's milk it's, chocolate candy It's like an old-fashioned. It's an old-fashioned one. You Rapper. see that? And this area here is very peacocky. <laughs> I like that too, that, that like that globe there, that snow globe. 40% yeah, off. You could pretty much get all your shopping done right here at the Cracker Barrel. Uh, really cool items and the prices are, are really good on all these. This is kind of like a corduroy like type t-shirt. Uh, it's kind of interesting, you know, $50 for it. Smoky Mountains, what'd you get? You got the teddy bear, Chattanooga on it, Jackson, Oak Ridge, Franklin. Oh, wow, so it's the different cities mm -hmm. throughout Tennessee on this bear. <laughs> Johnson City. Murfreesboro. Murfreesboro, yeah. Oak Ridge, Memphis. We visited a lot of these mm -hmm. uh, cities just recently. Gr Grand Old Opry. Sevierville. <laughs> yeah, old Sevierville. Got, hat. got a little, little hat, all right? In the theater. And they really do have everything here. They even have records. Oh yeah, they got these thin sticks here. I love the blueberry ones. I also like the cinnamon ones. They have a butterscotch one there. They got some boots here with some chickens on there. <laughs> $34.99. These gnomes are up to no good. And they have, oh, I love that blow molded um, gnome there. Carrying a little lantern. That is cool. I've never seen that before. All kinds of ladybugs. You know, oh, they got oh they got blow blow molded Easter. Andy's cookie crunch thins. Oh, a little bit of Easter going on here. Got some Jelly Belly and some Lindor eggs. Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Hippity hoppity, Easter's on his way. And everything for your farm. Look at this, all about horses. Ah, little, little country boot there. Ah, Peter Rabbit. <laughs> he is super, super cute. We'll let him hang out with the rest of his friends there. Once upon a time, Don. Peter Rabbit. We're just taking a look around. I uh, said it'd be about 20 minutes before they'll be able to seat us down, which gives us plenty of time to take a look at everything here. You got old Slinky Dog there. You got all the classic toys. Well, we had this and this one. And I remember this. The radio. Yeah. And this. Well, ours were bigger back in the day. Yeah, yeah. That's a poster. Yeah, a Slinky Dog dog. Isn't that pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. I love that cart there. I don't know if it's like a little kid's cart, maybe like a pony cart, or is it just a wagon? It kind of looks like it's real, but I'm not sure. It's really cool though. So there is so much to look at in here. We can't possibly show you all in this video. Uh, I think they're about to call us to go up and eat.
So if you have an Easter gathering, you don't have to cook. They can do it here for you. You can take it home. They have a ham feast for $164. They have an Easter ham family dinner for $114. Then they have the uh, prime rib for $134. And it looks really good. Yeah, a great way, especially if you're coming to the Smokies maybe during this time and you don't want to cook. This is their menu here, and it is quite a big menu. Uh, this is a seasonal menu, I think, here, and they have pretty much two sides of that. This French toast looks really good in the chicken. And this is their lunch and dinner menu here, and it's quite big also. Pretty much everything you can imagine. Um, they have from shrimp to uh, country fried steak, hamburgers. It is Friday, and Dawn got the fish fry, right? Fish fry, yep, with yes. a lot of big potato and a side house salad. So we both got waters uh, to drink, and you got some fish and chips coming. And I got the uh, cheesy bacon uh, fried chicken, which looks really good. And uh, they also have beer and wine here. I don't know if all the locations got it, but they have it here. I like all the old signs, you know what I mean? That's what I like the most about Cracker Barrels. Of course, they sit you down like these country style like tables. Uh, there's no booths or nothing like that in here. It's always it's always tables like this. I've never seen one with booths anyways. So one of your sides was a house salad. It looks really good. You got cucumbers, tomatoes, a little, is that bacon there? Oh, bacon. bacon. Yeah, you got Jeez. some ranch on the side. They brought you, they brought you two of them. That's good. No, that's good because a lot of places they give you one and then you gotta ask for another. Sometimes you need two, right? Yeah, the salad looks really good. You have to tell me if it's fresh. Is the plate cold? Oh yeah, it is. And just like that, our meals are here. So I ordered the uh, cheesy bacon uh, fried chicken there. It's got a little bit of French onion going on. And these are the, the cheesy casserole. Looks really good. And I opted for some mac and cheese, which makes really a really good lunch. Of course, they bring out their, their biscuits and, and cornbread. And then you got the... Yes, yeah, so that's yeah, that's your fish and chips, right? So you got a you got a baked potato instead. Yeah. So the baked potato is running a little a little late, and then you had a salad with it. So you got the the fish, the baked potato, and a salad. Dawn's baked potato it looks good. It's got a little bit of salt on the outside, a big dab of butter and sour cream. Looks like got some some onions in there, bacon. A little bit of tartar sauce, right? Finger food. Finger food? <laughs> I guess, uh. Very flaky. Um, it's very tender and spicy. Oh, wow. Um. Is it good? Oh, wow. That's tender. So you like, you like the tartar sauce there. And the fish looks good. It smells good. It smells good. Yeah. There's that baked potato again. Ooh. Yeah, the fish does look. Oh, it fell apart on you, didn't it? <laughs> I cut that chicken in half and. Yeah, it looks really good. You can see all the different layers in there. It looks good. It smells really good. I got a big old piece of chicken on there. Kind of hold the fork. Right. Big old piece of bacon. Look at the bacon on there. Mm. Looks good. Yeah, the chicken looks really good. It, it looks good. really good. Let me try this here. The chicken is super tender. Um, not rubbery or nothing at all. The uh, breading is really good. It is super cheesy. They put a lot of cheese on top. Really, really good. I'm very impressed. The, the, the chicken is just wow.
Um, the cheese and the bacon, they do a great job. I'm gonna try a little bit of this mac and cheese here. I've had it before and it's really good. A little bit of the mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is good. So this here is their cheesy <laughs> looks like hash browns. It's hash browns. It's cheesy hash brown it hash brown good. casserole. That's what it is. Cheesy hash brown casserole. Very good. It's all really good. Every time we come to a Cracker Barrel, it's always been really good. Um, I say lunch is probably my favorite so far. Don't forget the biscuits, huh? Oh yeah. The biscuits. Biscuits. You like it? So Dawn had the fish and chips, and I had the cheesy bacon chicken, and our total came out to thirty-three seventy-four. Well, hello there. Just chilling out here at the Cracker Barrel. Well, that was Cracker Barrel. And just for those folks who maybe have never been here before, and I often forget that you gotta pay your bill as you leave, you gotta go to the register. Uh, your waiter doesn't take that for you. I was sitting there, I'm like, oh, wait a second, we're back here at the Cracker Barrel. So what did you think, Don? I enjoyed it. It was good, it was good I country like cooking. Chips. Yeah, of course I had that cheesy chicken oh it was good guys I took a bite of his chicken it was good the chicken was done perfectly uh, the mac was good really good the hash brown cheesy hash, hash browns were good everything was good the, the biscuits were good the cornbread was good uh, service was fast and they had the Easter decor out now the Easter decor is out I love the Hawaiian t-shirts very very fun I guess, Dawn, the big question is, would you do the Cracker Barrel again? I would. Yeah. We do it. We do it periodically. Not all the time. But, <laughs> folks, that's going to do it for today here in Pigeon Forge. If you guys like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't, please subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming Smoky Mountain Adventures. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone. This is the point on the video where I, dr I, I drag the video out. So I can put those little boxes. Like right here, it should be a box that appears here. And there's a box that appears over here and then there's that little circle in the center and if you click on that circle you, you can subscribe to the channel did you know that or yeah, but yeah or you can watch this video here that's a good video mm -hmm. and then over here well we got some more videos for you to watch that's why we dragged it out for that well until next time thanks for watching you guys bye everyone <laughs> don't just want to end it <laughs>